Every great creative work stands on the shoulders of giants. Welcome to Retro Inspection, where we examine and find out where the things we love today came from. Since we are retro inspecting, as it were, there's a reason why we're looking at this book. Yeah. Uh, and the reason is you have a theory that may be shared with other people, I'm not sure but it's not uh, it's not common um if, okay. you, if you if you google it you can find i think it's like another three or four people at least on the first page of google results that also conjecture about this as well um just when i first read this it struck me i didn't go into the novel because i I'd read this before i read this years and years ago but when i read it then the first thing that occurs to me is oh this guy was one of the inspirations for the joke Wait, 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 wait. Say that again? This Phantomas, to my thinking, was one of the inspirations for the Joker. Can't prove it, That's, but that's strongly what I suspect. Because the Joker, certainly at various times, and certainly in his earliest appearances, has a lot of traits in common. Well, before we get into those traits, let's talk about this. The creators of the Joker... Finger, Kane, and um, who is the other? Jerry Robinson. Yeah. Those guys grew up in the twin teens and twenties. They probably heard or found out about Phantomas through the popular media of the time, uh, and yeah. certainly, it Phantomas was growing in popular in Europe and Britain. And those things crossed over to the U.S., so they were most likely exposed to this. Um, you know, their common, uh, you know, in the interviews when they talk about the origin of the Joker, they talk about the steeplechase face, the poker card face, um, and then uh, the man who laughs, the the image of, and that those are clearly clearly inspirations for the Joker's physical appearance, but the Joker's methods, the Joker's madness, the Joker's meanness, you're saying likely come from Phantomas. Well, yeah, if, again, no one involved in the Joker's creation has stated this explicitly. Now, that they, uh, Bill Finger made reference, for example, to... Um, um, is blind on Alexander Dumas and um, Victor Hugo. You know, he talked about drawing some inspiration uh, from the works of those guys, but, he, but no one ever mentioned Phantomas at all. But you know, in his first appearance, for example, uh, Batman number one in 1940, you know, the Joker is a master of disguise. The Joker kills recreationally in the course of robberies. Um, one thing that doesn't fit would, is the Joker. Would you say recreationally? You yeah. mean he enjoyed it? Yeah, and he kills he kills people he doesn't have to kill. He uh, jams all the radio stations in Gotham City and, and takes them over and threatens the entire populace and warns them, you know, at midnight tonight I'm going to kill so-and-so and steal the such-and-such -such so, diamond. So in the way that Phantomas was terrorizing Paris, the Joker terrorized Gotham. Yeah, he just the Joker just happy the Joker coming along thirty plus thirty odd years later, you know, has access to a mass media. For example, the Phantom of Us did it. That probably and for all again, for all I know in the later novels, the Phantom of Us does pull stunts like that. But well and then, and then the and then the feature films that follow. Sure, yeah, yeah. Some of which were placed in you know in the time periods that were released. Like so I I do, uh, I do see uh, after reading the entire novel I do see there is some kind of connection. Obviously, we can't prove that then the nope. originators of the Joker are have all passed away. So there's no way to verify. Yeah, they were they were that, all but, um, they were all unreliable in their day, probably particularly Bob Kane. Well. Mainly because they were all fighting against each other over authorship, 
piece of money. Uh, and any kind of royalties that came from the creation of the Joker. Yeah. Yeah, it was quite cutthroat. Um, Kane, Kane kind of won that one, though. Kane won the lottery on a lot of the stuff that yeah. assisted and with Batman. Just, via, some, know, via, some, via some shaky means, but, you know, <laughs> means that probably, you know, Siegel and Schuster wish they had considered at the time, but... Oh, boy, yeah. It did not. Yeah, it, it, They did not. <laughs> Siegel and Schuster got the shaft, and Bob Kane got the gold mine, for sure. Pretty much, yeah. Um, so, in terms of Phantom Oz and... Um, being a criminal mastermind, uh, I know you think there's more, maybe more of a case that he's related to, uh, you know, Dr. Mabuse and, you know. The, well, he's just, he's contemporaneous uh, and he's of, he's of a class of antagonist that existed in that era. I mean, he's, he's related to these guys. And like I said, that's, but you, those are all kind of nebulous categories and, and, there's a lot of crossover necessarily, you know, between them. But. Like, subscribe, repost, share everywhere. To see what else we're up to, visit xynobooks.com, xenobooks.com.